Okay, this is what YouTube is for. It's for people like me to voice our opinions and talk shit about whatever the fuck we want. So, I'm gonna lay it down. Nintendo, this is your last chance, dog. I'm serious. This is your last chance. You fuck up the NX. I don't know what to say to you. I mean, you have all the cards. All you simply have to do is just, just look at what people want. Look at what's hot right now. Just How about you just do that? The PS4 is hot right now. No gimmicks. I guess the touchpad and controller is a gimmick. But besides that, I mean, it's a, it's a standard console. It has online features, even though I wish they were better. This goes for Xbox, too. And I'm not just trying to say that I have a PS4. I don't have really, I don't have an Xbox one, so I can't really talk on that. But internet play is really important for whatever console you're gonna fucking make, wherever the NX is gonna be. It needs to have a great online infrastructure. You can't fuck that up. Give us, give us a controller that works. I don't care, it can be a gimmick, it can do that shit, but it needs to work, and it, if it does break, it needs to be able to be fucking replaced pretty easily. You, you can't, it can't just be, oh, uh, fuck you type of shit. It, it needs to be easily replaced. It can't be like a hundred dollar controller, like I'm pretty sure the touchpad is. I'm not sure, don't skewer me for that, but um, I'm not sure about that per se. So, I'm, I'm look, I saw the release date and that stuff for the NX. It comes out March of next year, along with the delayed Zelda. Okay, uh, I can understand a little bit. I've been um, watching Review Tech USA's uh, and Monday Matt's little miniature uh, thirty minute podcast on the issue of the date and what Nintendo is doing in the future Nintendo. Um, I find that content to be pretty interesting. But besides that, what, what they had to say made a lot of sense. And it's not its not really new news. It's, it's been out since the Wii, pretty much, or the Wii U, I'm sorry, the dumbass name, uh, since the Wii U turned out to be pretty much a flop for the first year. It goes back to the horrible, shitty, non-existent marketing for the Wii U in the first place. Uh, the gimmick of the Wii U, people, I mean, I mean, it goes back to the marketing, but people don't know the fuck. All they see is the controller, really, and they think it's a peripheral for the Wii. I mean, it's another GameCube. That's what the Wii U is has some great games on it, has a decent platform, great first party titles, but no third party support, which has been the running gag with Nintendo for the past <laughs> couple years now. Uh, it, this seems like anything that's not really Smash Bros is, <laughs> or Mario, or Zelda, and I haven't even seen a new Metroid since Other M. I mean, anything besides really the, the most iconic first party games don't, can't, it's not enough. It's not enough. You need third party support. So that's a, that's a given. No one cares about that. This is the basics here. You need to future proof the shit out of your console. I don't care what you have to do. That you need to have this be able to last at least six years. No questions about it. At least six years. You can't, you can't fuck around. I'm serious with this. It needs to be powerful. I don't care what gimmick you have in it. It needs to be powerful. It needs to give a reason. It needs to push the industry as far as power. Gimmicks are cool and they can do some, a subset of stuff for the industry or even blow up like that's what i guess what that's what the vr stuff is about right now right um i i'm more a partitioner of ar with augmented reality uh i don't there's gonna be vr but it's gonna be uh it's not gonna be the most accessible thing and it's not gonna be implement implemented in everything as of right now as i what i see 
I see AR, a augmented reality, like the HoloLens stuff that's coming out with Microsoft and what they're trying to push. I see a lot more practicality for all that stuff when advertising, just pulling your Google glasses, I mean, even the future, even far in the future, if we <laughs> live that long, uh, maybe contacts with AR uh, augmented reality deus ex bullshit inside of it. <laughs> so, uh, I just wanted to touch on that point, but yeah, it needs to be powerful. It needs you need to future proof the shit out of it because the Wii U didn't get its full run. That's mostly because of your fault, Nintendo. But I, I, I don't know. I don't know. Like, why? Why do this to yourself, Nintendo? Why? Why? I just don't understand. Like, why stress out your own self? of not making money people are gonna hand you money i just don't understand they people are gonna hand you money you're gonna push the industry with more power it's i mean as long as you don't make the console like seven hundred dollars but make the console as powerful as you can within the range of five hundred dollars five hundred four hundred dollars that's the sweet spot. If you can, make, if you can future-proof it as much as possible, put as much GDDR5 RAM you can put in it, good GPU, good just overall RAM in general, good CPU, and just a nice controller. Just GameCube controller is probably my favorite Nintendo controller. It feels really good in my hands. It fits perfectly fine. The buttons are pretty responsive. Um, I mean, the button buttons are segmented and all that stuff, but I mean, not saying the Wii U controller isn't the two, but if I break a Wii U controller, <laughs> how much money is that? I mean, you guys can look it up for me or whatever, but I, I don't know. It's just like, why, why? Why does Nintendo have to do this? They're they're killing with the amiibos, but then they somehow can't make enough for people to fucking buy, which is strange. I, I was also watched uh, Matt Pat's video on that stuff on the amiibo <laughs> conspiracy. Uh, I I mean, not having good online, this disastrous. Not being a powerful enough console disastrous if you make a powerfulness console you don't need to beg third parties to make games for your console they'll automatically want to go to you because you can't and i mean nothing can really compete with pc just because the nature of pc is being a multi utility device not just for gaming even if it is a gaming ray you do other stuff with it but consoles can help move forward the whole entire game industry by pushing the amount of power the consoles that are out currently can do and the ps4 and xbox one are not gonna last another five years it's not gonna happen we already seen that with the ps4k and microsoft uh we're not gonna do it but then we are gonna do it but then we're not gonna we're gonna do it so we're gonna do it and it's pay places just doing it so we're gonna do it stuff that's going on right now and I understand you not really want to compete with the PS4K as it is. Uh, PlayStation in general is the I mean, 40 million units sold so I mean you can't really compete with that but it really boils down to just make it as powerful as you can with a reasonable price tag on it. That's all you have to do. And, oh, this is this is probably the second biggest point, is I understand the reason you probably delayed the uh, Zelda Wii U stuff. Zelda U. <laughs> but to, for, for the launch titles, for the launch titles, I need a new Metroid. I, I, I know they were gonna come you're gonna do the compatibility with Zelda so I don't have to worry about that I, I'm not even I have an, an old Nintendo console since the GameCube well well yeah home console yeah since the GameCube 
need a strong first party support and third party support in general but this launch your launch titles are what's going to set you apart there you need to push this console as hard as you can in advertising and in software and your only infrastructure which is the third point better be kick ass man it better be i mean voice chat. i don't give a fuck if the little kids say fuck you cunt or whatever they're going to say they're, it's the nature of the internet you can't i mean games like splatoon didn't don't don't i don't know if it does or not i haven't kept up with the game but as far as when i heard when it came out it doesn't have voice chat not even like team voice chat like how do you that's the most idiotic thing I've ever seen. Ever seen. How? What? I don't care, man. Like, little kids are not going to pay your bills, dog. <laughs> it's people like me who are the gamers their whole lives, who are out in the working force actually can get money to pay for our entertainment so i understand you switching gears we're like, we gonna be more family friendly oriented that's fine for your first party titles that's fine but be as powerful as you can have a kick-ass first party launch uh i'm sorry just a kick-ass launch launch titles in general and an online infrastructure that is better than PlayStation, because PlayStation could really use a fucking overhaul. Please, I, 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 whatever. Anyway, let me know what you guys think about my rant and my comments or whatever, and just just write write it down in the comments, please. I have to figure out like if anyone feels the same way I do about this, because it just doesn't make sense to me, like. Nintendo just wants to shoot themselves in the foot for no real reason other than we're Nintendo and we do what the fuck we want. I mean, I don't know. It's it's mad frustrating to, to have to, I mean, to be in this situation where Nintendo could possibly fail because of their own incompetence and just not make hardware anymore. Well, that's it for me, guys. Uh, catch you later.